Okay, folks. Hey, we're back. I got a hearty, hearty meal recipe for you. If you remember when you were a kid, you probably gave up on them because they take a couple minutes. Whistle pigs right here on my take on Home and Garden. Now I'm slow cooking some bacon, you know, a whole pound. And we're gonna do some of them old fashioned whistle pigs, my take style, and cornbread and beans. So let's get cracking. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm already having trouble with the good smells here in the kitchen. We're cooking that pound of bacon. Nice and slow. I'm going to flip it all over. See if Angela can tell me how nobody can see. That's turned over. Now the main thing with the whistle pigs, we want to pre-cook our bacon and get it close. Because otherwise, we just finish it up under the broiler to get that nice toasty. Alright, now in my pot. Separate pot, chili beans, can of chili beans. Now you know they're already going to have some chili flavoring and chili powder. Next can, red kidney beans. Doesn't matter if they're light or dark, I like the dark. Now that's pretty much the end of that for Till the end of the dish. We're gonna put them on low, stir them up, and we're gonna grease our pan, our 10 by 10, with, you know, my favorite Crisco. Gotta have the Crisco, the bottom and the sides. Okay, now the oven is preset and turned on at 400, which is what they want the muffins to be cooking at. We're going to take, I know everybody knows about Jiffy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love Jiffy. Our whole life, Jiffy mix, it's so reasonable. We're going to put two boxes in this big mixing bowl. Now you might think you're not learning anything new. We'll see. Okay. Two boxes. Jiffy mix. Two eggs. That's what the box calls for. That's one each. We're not going to drift from that. Now, one third each box of milk. So we got two-thirds cup milk. Here's my trick. One can of cream style corn. Oh man, I'm telling you. Cream style corn right in the mixture. Okay, now we're gonna mix. Don't cheat on mixing either. You want a good mix because those eggs were in there. We didn't beat them, you know. Now, I think I heard my oven was up to temp. And some of this bacon is looking close. Now, I'm gonna wanna flip this side again. Nice and slow. That gives you plenty of time to do the rest of your work. And, you know, you're not in a hurry. You're not killing yourself. Still time on there. I think I need to turn that up. Alrighty, now we're taking our greased Pyrex dish and we're putting that corn muffin mixture in there. Oh man, look at this. Woo. Yes, sir. Looking good. Now we're going to rinse. Now I'm going to pop that into the oven. And I 
think I have 15 to 20 minutes. Probably 20 because it's a double batch. And all we gotta do now is outweight that. I gotta have the muffins done so I can have the oven. And now you new folks, don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell, that notification bell, so you never miss a video. And you can keep continuing to have fun right here on my take on Home and Garden. Okay guys, and now in our pot of beans, we're gonna put a little mix of peppers green and red and onion. Okay, we're gonna fold those in just to make them exciting and not boring. And we're gonna keep that on too. Just wait for that bacon. Now I can get these hot dogs going. What hot dogs do I have? Ballpark. That's what we like. Some are so cheap today and salty and terrible. I get a real knife. Now I'm gonna split these, but not really all the way through, okay? And I'm gonna put that on my broiler pan. We want it to stay together, in other words, like a canoe. Cut that on a nice straight line open it up. I'm gonna catch these all up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, now we put the hot dogs back on the cutting board and we're gonna take our buns out, the hot dog buns, and we're gonna open them up so we can get those prepared. Man, are these fresh and wonderful. Okay, and this is one more step that's gonna make these special that you might not normally do. And that is we're gonna toast the top real quick. And we wanna butter lightly each side of that bun. Okay, now I'm gonna catch that up. Okay, time to drain the bacon get it off the heat. Now the trick is, because we're building whistle pigs, you know, we need our bacon a little flexible. That's the goal. Nobody wants extra fat, really, but it does taste good. <laughs> Here's two, we're gonna just keep on there for a second longer. You always get them couple that are outside, right? Outside of the middle. And then this pan gets turned off. Look at them beans. Oh, can you see this? Oh. Ooh, we just stir them up with that pepper and onion mix. Look at them. Wonderful. And folks, while you're waiting for that cornbread to come out, check out that store. You can go to our link in the description box. Check it out, a lot of cute stuff, spring and summer. Shirts, pants, hats, stickers, coffee mugs. Now I wanna check on my cornbread. Got five minutes to go to make 18. So we're at 13. I just wanna look at it. Yep, okay. Not even close. This does take a little work, and that's why most of you are out there saying, that's why I don't make those. They're a headache. <laughs> They're a headache if you let them be a headache. Okay, we're not gonna let them be a headache. Okay, I wanna open the dog to a point I want to get some shredded cheddar cheese in there. Mm. 
It'll be a little messy, but that's why we have our cutting board still. And we can recover everything that we lose. <laughs> Hopefully, mostly. And now we got to wait for that cornbread. Just a little longer. Okay, now at 24 minutes, we're going to check this cornbread. Oh my goodness, it looks right. We'll do the toothpick check. You cooks know about it. If it comes out stuck on, it's not quite done. And it's not quite done. Okay, look at that. Little marvel. Okay, the can of corn does add a bit. While we're waiting for that, we can do the fun part. Let's make sure everybody can see. We got everything lined up. You see how I'm set up. Buns on the broiler pan. We got our bacon. We got some toothpicks. And we're going to take our bacon now. And this is what makes it a whistle pig. We're gonna wrap that wiener with the bacon. Get your first toothpick in. Take it around and bring it back. And get your second one in. Okay. Now, they're basically waiting there for us for a second. We're going to reclaim all this. 30 minutes. We're taking our cornbread out. It just smells like heaven here. Now, I'm going to the broiler. The broiler's on high. I'm putting the buns in the broiler. And anybody that's used to it <laughs> knows you can't go anywhere. You can't goof around <laughs> with that broiler on. Okay, now those buns have been under the broiler for about two and a half minutes. And look at, especially the back. <laughs> they are done. We're leaving the broiler on. We're gonna turn this, because you see how the front is lighter, the back gets more. Here's the real magic. Now this is gonna hold our whistle pig in place so much better. We're almost there. Look at what's missing. Any Anything missing, like this hot dog needs some bacon. Okay. I'm going to remember that one because I really piled it on there. <laughs> We're going to reclaim, like I said, our cheese. This is the last step in our cook with me, besides eating. <laughs> and this is probably going to take two or three minutes. We're going to melt the cheese. We don't even close the door, really. we we got to watch. Okay. It's starting to smoke and telling me that is it. Oh, man. Perfecto. See that first smoke come out? Turn that off. Look at this now. Just everything is melted and hot. Oh my goodness sake. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're ready. Okay, so this is how I would serve this. Get your tongs. Serve that whistle pig. Get the toothpicks out for your family. Unless they're good listeners and they'll get them out without a problem. That's the only thing you got to worry about. Make sure they know. 
they got to get them out. Look at these beaners. Let's cut their cornbread. Good heavens. Look at that cornbread steaming. And it is so moist. There's one. <laughs> Just hang on to that. Get the toothpicks out for them. Look at this. And these are at a point here now where you can just grab it. Folks, give this one a try. I'm telling you, you'll love it. If you liked our video, cook with me. Whistle pigs, unbelievable. Fill you to the top. Meal, delicious. Nice summer picnic even meal. Give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over, be good, get your picnic on, have fun, go to the beach, and we'll see you in the next Cook With Me Decor Video Road Trip or Decor Video. Did I say Decor Video? Thanks guys, take care now.